guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here. And today I'm privileged to be with Clarissa Sparta. Hi, Clarissa. Hi. Hello, Lauren. How are you? I'm fantastic. Good. Welcome to Rave It Up. Thank you. For those who don't know, we met a couple of weeks ago at DYRSL for Mark Vincent's show because this lovely lady was his support act. <laughs> and I think we just we, we became like besties, didn't we? Now she's my bestie. <laughs> we got along really, really well. And I was like, I need to have you on properly on the show, not just a little vlog chat. Well, Even thank you for was, having me. That was fun too. <laughs> now we do get to chat to you about a little bit more about your career. Okay. And <laughs> how you got to where you are today. Because a lot of people will look at you on stage and go, oh, I want to do that. Like now we can actually, I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to be opera singers and, or just get on stage, just full stop. So <laughs> I did read that your dream of be, being an opera singer was when you were like 11. Is that right? Yes, that's what right. What was like the pivotal moment for you? Well, why started Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, well, no, I started singing when I was six. So this would be way before your time. Uh, the Johnny Young Talent Time School. You know, You're not quite... old. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as a kid, so we used to watch the John, Johnny Young Talent Time show with Danny Minogue and Carly Minogue. Yes. And they were our favourites. And uh, yeah, and so I started singing at six because, you know, my sister and I wanted to be just like them when we grew up. So I guess I'd always been in entertainment, but it wasn't until I was about 11 that I, I auditioned for Opera Australia Children's Chorus. And so I was in these productions and I was like, this is amazing. You know, you go, you go, people go to work every day, get dressed up and create this amazing thing on stage. And I came home and I said to my mum, I want to do this for a living. I have to do this for the rest of my life. You know, so I guess and what did your mum say? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> get a plan B. <laughs> to be honest, actually, I was really lucky. Dad was a musician when we were kids and uh, as well as his full-time job. But yeah, they were always like, Clarissa, you can do anything you want to do. It was never talk of, you need to get a stable job or <laughs> anything yeah. like that. It was like, if you work hard enough, you'll be able to... Well, my parents were the same and it's, yeah. it's really, really helpful to have that support system. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. very, very lucky. So. And yeah. do you have any other careers in mind as well or is it always oh, yeah, the yeah, entertainment no. industry? <laughs> I wanted to be a vet. A vet? <laughs> I did. did not see oh, that oh. coming. No, I, see, I have a massive love of animals, but uh, I'm not great with blood and so forth. But for some reason, when it comes to animals, I have a bigger stomach for things, you know, and I always try and analyse what's going on and... Yeah, I don't know. I just I love animals. I think that would have been my other path if I if I would have I would have had to study a lot though. So you don't think you would have been like becoming emotional? <laughs> you know, I probably them. would. But apparently, you can be like a vet GP for animals, which means you know okay. you, you do the basic things, and then there's the surgery. I don't think I could have stomach surgery, no. but you know, just the general kind of you know prescribing, maybe needles. Ooh. Maybe, <laughs> to the, that will be the extent, just the needles. <laughs> <laughs> I say this now and then I'll be like, no, no, no I can't no. do it. <laughs> it's all right, you've taken, I think, the right path in life. I trust. She is incredible on stage. If you haven't checked out um, the vlog from two weeks ago, please do so on our website. Thank you. <laughs> she loved it as well. She's like, oh, I need to share it. She did a great job. <laughs> yeah, and like a screenshot from the video you posted. And I was yes, like, oh, thank yes, you. Yes, Lauren. Thank you very much, Lauren. <laughs> it was a really good shot, I've got to say. I've got to thank my cameraman for that one too. Thank you, cameraman. Um, <laughs> now, did you just straight away when you figured out you wanted to do opera, did you just start getting singing lessons or, you know, because you can't just, I guess, go from singing Watched in the opera. shower to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm now I'm an opera singer. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Well, no. Very very good question. So I started singing when I was six, but I started out pop and music theatre and that type of thing. Yeah. So uh, you're absolutely right. No. I, I mean I started classical singing lessons at about eleven. It's a very very different thing. Um, oh yeah. Different ball game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a different way of using your voice, but. Yes, uh, you, you do need training, but they say like serious opera, you probably start at about 16. Wow. You know, the body starts changing. But yeah, no, I started I started singing in Italian and German and French when I was about 11. And I remember at first coming home to my mum and saying, mm, I don't know if this is for me. This is this is hard. It's not like, you know, singing Disney or, or yeah. Barbara Streisand. I was like, what is this? You know? But then my voice really seemed to take a shining to it. And I started doing all these Estedfords uh, and... I started like winning lots of things and I thought oh maybe maybe I'm actually good at this because it didn't feel like an effort it felt mm. natural and um, yeah sometimes as an, as an adult you wish you had the confidence you had when you were a kid yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well you can do anything, like, yeah. I can do anything. <laughs> yeah it started getting really good response and uh, 
one of my friends had said she should audition for Opera Australia Children's Chorus. And I was like, Opera? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> was that okay? Yeah. I mean, I loved Pavarotti. I had his CD. And I was like, he's amazing. I love Mario Lanza. And I was like, all right. Let's give this a go. And, and it's been my dream and love ever since, I'd say. Yeah. So singing in different languages, can you also speak those languages or are you just good Ugh. at just singing them? Well, yeah, that's, that's mm. it's a hard one. So I'm from an Italian family, probably tell my last name. Uh, so our grandparents, our nonna and nonno, which is what we say, they speak to us in a mix of English and dialect. So dialect is like, uh, you know, from whatever region they come, there's a different spin on different words and things. So I, they may speak in Italian to me, but I then respond in English. Yeah. I know that's strange. You know what they're saying. You understand the language, yeah, but you don't know how to yeah. say it back. And if I don't understand something, then I just I say, well, you know, I might ask mum or they'll tell me or whatever. But mm. uh, as for French and German, uh, I know the basics, you know, hello and goodbye, that, that type that's of it, thing. Yeah. Um, but what you learn at the Conservatorium of Music is how to phoneticize a language. So they teach you how to write it out. And that means if whatever language that you're exposed to, well, not only do you have to work out what, what you're singing about, but how to pronounce it, because it's not your first tongue, you know, no, we're yeah. born English speakers. Uh, yeah, so you learn how to do that at university and how to, there's sometimes a like slightly different way to say sing French as to speak, it's very like the nasal Isn't that interesting? kind of vowels. And, yeah, Didn't well, even think about that. Mm. I find Italian the easiest, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you're around it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so my ear just... Um, you know, English is harder to sing in than you think because we have all these little, what they're called diphthongs, the way, you know, uh, the way a word is said. So it's deceivingly hard, but great when you get it right. So, yeah. oh, I'm a nerd. It. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's okay. This is it. Diphthongs. Sorry. You make it look effortless <laughs> on stage cool anyway. <laughs> you do. You make it look effortless. It's fantastic. I try. I try. <laughs> and how many years did you actually study at the con? Uh, five, five, actually. So a Bachelor of Music is four years, uh, which is what I did. And then I decided I wanted to do a year of the Diploma of Opera. Yeah. But when I was 17, I really, really, really wanted to do the Diploma of Opera. I was like, what's this Bachelor of Music? I don't want to do that. I just want to go straight into the opera. But I was I was underage. They didn't take anyone over 21. Wow. But I, I tell you what, I had some gumption because I went in there and... <laughs> filled out the form and I said to my mum I don't care I'm going to go in there and I'm going to write down the diploma of opera and she's like all right go on go on, go on see there. what happens it was the same audition anyway so you, you know for the BMUS and uh, oh, the dip op went in there and I sang and, um, and I was really I did a really great job I was really proud of myself I was like, good go you and the head of um, the institution at the time she's not there now but she said to me I said, right, it's because, you know, you're a very, very talented young lady. And I see here that you've marked down both the Bachelor of Music and the Diploma of Opera. And I was like, yes, yes, yes I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, now you've just left school. I'm assuming you're only, you know, 18. And I said, oh, I'm 17, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, worse. It's, it's worse. And, I was like, so, you know, so, yeah. and she said, look, I'm really sorry, but you do have to be 21 for maturity reasons. But look, if we if we offered you the Bachelor of Music, you know, would you would you turn that down? And I went, oh, no, no, no. I really want to, you know, come to this school because I knew to be an opera singer, it was very important to do do those things. So I was glad like, you had that foundation with oh, the Bachelor yeah, of Music anyway. Great. Yeah. You yeah. need, as I said, I know it's it's, I sound nerdy, but things like phonetics with a language, it really helps us with our job in the future because you yeah. don't always have access to your singing teacher or to a coach, you know, and you have to learn things and audition and do roles. So, yeah, you need to know how to do it. So even though it's a lot of training, oh, it's a lot of training. off. It does pay off. Because <laughs> now you're, it's just natural. You're like, yeah, oh, damn, I am nerdy, but... <laughs> Yes, it's I'm, a good thing. I'm very nerdy. Yes, I am. It would, be bad, it would be bad if you weren't, I think. <laughs> oh, no, you should see me. Even when I, I do all sorts of gigs, even cruise ship gigs, and if you're learning a role, you've got all your scores in front of you and, you know, can be out on the deck and everyone's there lying by the pool and there I am in the shade, you know, working out my uh, <laughs> IPAs, we call them, you know. <laughs> opera people know what I'm talking about. You yeah. know, you just run down the translation, highlighting, you know, writing out lyrics in another language. Oh, what's this mean? And I feel like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing the phonetics and, you know. <laughs> Like, I'm getting what? ready for, for tonight. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, I'm in it. Yeah. And then also remember, like your set list, like we're chatting about yes. a couple of weeks. Yeah, ago. Well, crossovers oh a whole different ballgame. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
And how did you find it like after graduating? You know, because or did you find it like easier? Did they kind of give you gigs after that, or you, oh, did you actually yeah. have to go out there yourself and start introducing no, yourself? No, oh, I'm to I'm the classic story of being a go getter. I would oh, have to good. say. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, that's why we get along. <laughs> it's true. No, it's true. And I think um, I I do I do feel for people when they just get out of university. They sometimes feel a bit lost, and they're mm. used to that study in institution. I was the opposite. I couldn't wait to get out. Get out. I just yes. wanted to. <laughs> Get, get it get out there and do it um, now I guess my path is a little different because uh, because I did that pop and music theater training I wasn't opposed to singing any of that whereas some opera singers are very opposed to singing that and that's they just okay want opera, because yeah. and I get that because you know their technique they just want to do it but when I, I started getting offered gigs uh, that you know people were like could you sing this or could you sing that and I went in and auditioned for a big corporate company uh, and I never forget it. They were like, "Okay, so we've got this song, the prayer. Here we go. We've got the prayer. And then we've got, you know, um, Ness and Dorma. And we've got this. And every time I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. Oh y- yep, oh, do you want? And then I'd know it off by heart, and I'd just sing it. And they'd be like, "Are you an what? opera singer? Like, like you know? Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and then like something poppy, like Memory from Cats. You know, a bit more, you know, mm. belty. Um, yeah. Uh, what can't this woman do? <laughs> well, it's, it's not, you know what it is. I just because I never looked at anything like I couldn't do it, and I. I drew on all the skills I had as a child. So in my head, it wasn't that I, you know, oh, you're not doing opera. It was like, I'm using my voice. I was trained to use my voice and I enjoyed it more and more. And, and I got, you know, things that were co- had choreography in it. I, I did some jazz ballet as a child, but, you know. Seriously, some... what can't you do? <laughs> no, no, there's a lot I can't do. <laughs> but you, when people, I love a bit of a challenge. If someone shows me what they want and then I can deliver that, I just feel really proud as an artist. So, yes, I went after everything, but it wasn't always opera. So um, I just wanted to sing and I thought, you know, however I can sing and make a living, I'm going to do it. Yeah, in the long run, that's made you more employable, right? <laughs> yeah, I think do so. It, do <laughs> everything, not just pigeonholed it, to yeah, opera. Yeah, look, it, it doesn't. It, it, it does mostly, but I think um, I think I had to fight hard to prove myself as well because I think, you know, sometimes. Uh, well, for example, uh, in 2011, I won. It was the Opera Foundation Australia's. Lady Fairfax New York Award. Sorry, that's a mouthful. So I just want yeah. to get it right. Glad you said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, and I and I had to compete against five other amazing opera singers. They went around Australia, and and that winning that I remember was such a big moment for me because I did a lot of crossover work before that. Because the way I saw it is, I'm an entertainer, and I'm going to take that work if, if I get it. And you know, there's a lot of I, I'd get those little slide comments like oh, "You've sold your soul," or "Oh, you're, oh. you're doing? Are you doing a cruise ship?" Oh, you're doing that type of singing. Is that really what you want to be doing? I mean, I can't tell you back then, really. Uh, I mean, we're talking, you know, years ago. Pe- people quite kind of, you know, the side slurs. And I just kept going and I thought, well, you know what? You're teaching or you're, you're doing this or that. I love doing this. You're so, singing full time. Yeah. You and don't have to teach. Yeah, <laughs> and it was kind of like those little jibes and slurs made me work harder. And I thought, I'm going to show you. Like, I've been an opera singer my whole life just because I do music theatre or crossover. It doesn't mean I'm not, a, you know, an opera singer. And winning that for me really kind of made me feel great because I was, this is a pure opera competition. And, you know, and it gave me the opportunity to study, um, you know, with teachers from the Juilliard in New York. And I thought, and, you know, the, to have that belief in me, it kind of gave me my confidence back because I was like god people are so mean sometimes (laughs) so yeah I think look you've always got to go against the grain people are not always going to love what you do people are going to judge people love judging unfortunately (laughs) but I I always yeah and I always try and encourage the younger singers and go go for it do it do it it." but yes you got to go get and you got to push what other people say aside unless you think it's valid I'm the to you? Biggest but believer in that too. Yes, yeah. go always prove them yeah. wrong. They love saying no. You can't do, do it that. For you. Watch me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do it for you, not for them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I love that. <laughs> now you have to get along. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Same. Just, just sisters that are. You're my big sister. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Now you have sung principal roles with Opera Australia's touring company. You yeah. played Gretel in Hansel and Gretel. That one was my favourite. <laughs> was, oh, well, I was just about to ask you what's I your favourite. You know, she picked the favourite. I know, just straight up. I said it first. <laughs> uh, Cosette in Les Mis. Oh yeah. And even Cinderella and Clorinda in Cinderella. Believe it or not, I'm actually 
if I was going to be cast on the main set, I'm an, I'm the ugly stepsister. So Cinderella, as lovely as that role is, it's not really? my no, it's not my voice at all. No, no. But as a swing role, you find yourself doing a variety of a things. So sometimes, yeah, you're suited for one role, and the other role, you're like. Can do it, but it's not your thing. <laughs> but Gretel was your favourite. Oh, I loved Gretel. I was like really surprised. I was like, okay, I'm such a big Cinderella fan. I'm like, okay, yeah, she's, she's got to choose Cinderella, so. right? You think so? Yeah, C- Cinderella was fun. Um, I mean, I'm all for Disney. That's a whole other story. Okay, <laughs> good, good. Um, <laughs> but you know, I think. It's interesting, you know, having the dark hair, Italian skin, I don't, I, you know, you often turn up and the kids think you're the baddie straight away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I can see that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We'll make you the, the evil the stepsister. And um, <laughs> even, actually, even with Hansel and Gretel, I'd turn up and, uh, you know, I had, I actually had black hair back then and the kids thought I was like the evil step witch, you know, the <gasps> mother. Uh, and then they'd find out I was Gretel and then they loved me and I was like, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to love me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, no, Gretel was my favourite um, because you got to revert to playing a child so you really you know you had to really dig deep to be a child again and then sing this beautiful line it was the most beautiful music ever so yes wow i wish i could have seen that yeah (laughs) i've also played a clown i played a rapper i played a (laughs) A rapper i can't see that i'm not saying the rapping was great but as i said you know if people ask i do it i played a character what what else did i do oh rosina What else? Uh, oh, magic flute. I've done a lot of magic You've flute. done a bit of everything. That one's the yeah. <laughs> Your bio is huge. I've been every say. role in the magic flute. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other side of things, I yes. did watch your uh, cover on YouTube of Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. Oh. <laughs> it is fantastic. Oh, look, you know, and I love there the- are some naff moments, but I've got to say, to my, to my defense, it's one of those things where, like, I've never done a video clip, so I'm like, oh, give it a whirl. You're so then- entertaining. I was like, she's so comfortable in front of a camera. Mm. And I love that you were kind of, well, you made it look like you were. Oh, thank anyway. you. <laughs> and I do like that you're kind of like your own, um, like, backup singer in a way. I did all the vocals. Yeah, so yeah. I have a thing. Actually, I've, I've worked in a studio with a really cool producer named David Skeet. And uh, what we did was... I love layering my vocals, so I love doing some opera vocals, like I do Wuthering Heights, all sorts of things, uh, what we call vocal padding. So what that means is you do every layer of harmony yourself, um, even if it's in the stratosphere, or it could be you know low vocals, low harmonies, and then I just sing the melody on the top, sometimes I change things. I, I, I'm one of those singers that loves being in the studio. I know a lot of them, they freak out and they're like, oh, I got to do this. And I'm like, yes, recording studio. <laughs> so, love making music. I get to do it all like I a few know. times. <laughs> it's great. No, it's good because if something's not quite the right sound that you want or, you know, you don't feel like the right feeling, you can just redo it. Redo it. It's fabulous. It's like, it's like a digital camera. You just take another photo. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, love it. And the video was really, really beautiful as well. Where oh, was that filmed? You. That was filmed in Potts Point, actually, uh, in a place that is now beneath it was a real estate, and below that, uh, it's a Japanese restaurant that's still there. But what? above was a commercial, wow. a commercial space. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, that's yeah. incredible. Really sweet heritage. And there was a, a shot of you surrounded by candles. Oh, yeah. Uh, Had to be careful I didn't catch on fire. It's beautiful, yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> oh, did, <yeah. laughs> I really wanted to know, did you, like, have to sit down first and then they put the candles around you or you did you, they already well, put them down you had to like kind of work they, your way they, in there with yeah. your dress <laughs> they positioned them and then it wasn't until i sat down that they put them back yeah they they lit them because <laughs> yeah that would have been <laughs> that powder puff <laughs> <laughs> i hope you're getting this <laughs> bonfire anybody yeah. <laughs> Dedication to my craft. <laughs> I know they could tell. Oh, that's the first time you've ever made a video. <laughs> you sh- should have sung that cover, "Girl on Fire." Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Please don't do that in the future. If you're, uh, yeah, don't. I mean, do the song, but don't light yourself on fire. No, please. I'll try, I'll try not to. <laughs> Kids, do not try that at home. Okay. Please don't try don't that put at candles home. Candles around you. There's no happy ending there. No. No. Nope. No. No. As much as you want to pretend like you're in a video <laughs> clip, but don't do it. No. 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 <laughs> Uh, you did mention before about cruises. Yes. Back in 2016, you were offered the soprano operatic role for Princess Cruises, main yes. stage production of Bravo. Bravo. Yes. How was it working on a cruise? Do you get seasick at all? I feel like I oh, would. I can do. Look, I mean, look, as, as far as cruises, though, I, 
I've been doing them for 10 years as a guest entertainer uh, with a group. So I actually have a group with my sister, which is a trio. So I, I've done them all Got before. Got to bring that up later. Yep. But no, what I loved about this opportunity was they specifically wanted an opera singer, but um, you also then had to be able to do your own shows and things as well. So loved the opportunity. Uh, yes, on very, very rocky days, I do get sick, but generally I think, I think I'm pretty good there. <laughs> so it's not like halfway, halfway through singing and you're like, Give me a minute. Oh. Need to go on the back. Well, they tend to, as a singer, they tend to put you on when it's most rocky because, of course, the dancers and things can't go on. So, uh, yeah, it's a very it's surreal. Not very nice. Yeah, no, you know, you're trying to be quite elegant, and you know, you will, <laughs> especially in heels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, I think that's um, it's been one of the best uh, best training grounds, absolutely, because you're singing for people of all ages who come to the theatre not necessarily to see you or your type of music and then you've got to make sure they stay and entertain them and make it their yeah, thing. Yeah, don't go do something else on the ship. No, watch me. no. Well, no, because a lot, you know, a lot of um, wives will bring their hubbies, come on, come and watch the show and they're like, mm, I don't know if this is for me. I can't tell you how many people we've had say, oh, you know, I, I was this, dragged along. Yeah, I was dragged along. I really didn't want to go. I wanted to do something else and I came and I loved the show and I'm like... And you've got another fan. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what we aim to do. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's been great. But um, ginger is good for travel sickness and green apples Ooh, and crackers as well. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Just for future crackers. reference, I need there to you know go. that. Come on, shoot. <laughs> it's also true that you've launched your seventh cast for yes. Bravo and Princess Cruises. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah. Oh, look, it's awesome. I love meeting new people and uh, watching each cast come in and give, you know, these songs that they're doing their own twist it's beautiful and the, the gowns of course they're... we spoke about the gowns in the vlog gowns. <laughs> yeah yeah the gowns are just your gowns like let alone whatever they're bringing on <laughs> well, apparently well i didn't know this until just recently but um the gowns that we get to wear the couture gowns and i have managed to say where do you get these gowns from and in the u.s there's a dressmaker called sylvia who did the gowns for princess diaries apparently um, and disney movies what? and things like that so they are legitimate <laughs> No, I, I want to wear one of them home. in the future. Yeah, I, they're not my gowns. I don't bring them home. But yes, it, it, they literally, they, they feel like they weigh about seven kilos at least. So imagine trying to... It's a workout when you're wearing it. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but a workout that is worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> Until you take it off and you're like, just get off me. <laughs> yeah. Now, I am going to bring up your side, your, yeah, another side hustle, I guess. What's your other group, oh, your trio, oh, yes. <laughs> fusion vocal group. She has done her homework. I really have. <laughs> Hot opera, cool jazz, classic Broadway. Yep. Love those names. <laughs> <laughs> How did this all come about? Because it is with your sister, right, Eva? Yes, yes. Because I saw it with her name was Eva Sparta. I'm like, I'm guessing okay. it's your sister. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's all right. Look, um, we used to be a group called Encore uh, Vocal Group, actually. Uh, but my sister and I ended up taking it over and basically how it came about I guess is that want of fusing together great music for people who may not go to watch a three-hour opera or mm. a, you know a two-hour music theatre show or a whole set of jazz or scat singing you know and my sister's a great jazz singer actually uh, so we were a part of this group and then we just kind of took it over and put our own spin on it uh, there was a good friend of ours uh, who's moved overseas that was one of the originals. And yeah, and that's what we did. So that's how it came about. And I guess because I started out singing pop and music theatre, so I'd, I'd be the soprano of the group, but I'd also then be able to come out and belt something as well. And, uh, and you know, she's had classical training as well. So then she was able to kind of fuse into some of the other pieces. So how are you with jazz? <laughs> yeah. Or you I just leave jazz, that to her. Jazz I love. No, no, I do. I do love jazz. Jazz, I think, I don't know. I, I've got some opera singer friends as well that say for some reason, croony type of jazz is quite easy to do because you kind of just sit into the spot like you, mm. yeah you croon it uh, it takes a bit of practice but yeah. yeah yeah probably much easier than having to do something belty to be honest and it doesn't doesn't hurt the voice or some croony jazz lovely <laughs> come along one time and see you guys yes. i really want to yeah well look, i have to say though but my sister is the best at it because i do sure. love jazz love broadway oh, you love her She's and gorgeous. i do love a bit of opera especially when you're singing it i think i have the perfect show for her <laughs> i really do i really i really think you do and how's it been working with family? I know sisters fight, <laughs> but we how fight. is it in a working environment? <laughs> it's a funny one. You know, look, I think uh, we've become so much closer over the years. Okay, that's good. Um, <laughs> look, she's great. She's great with um, 
look, she's she's a, she's a teacher. She teaches singing as well. So we have very different visions and and skills that we bring to the group. I guess I'm great at an overall kind of finish um, and with the movement and and that. But she's got the great ear for the harmonies. So she'd be like, guys, blah blah blah. You know, fix Isn't this, that do that. I would have thought that would have been you. No, <laughs> um, I, I'm good with the harmonies. But when it comes to say playing, you know, playing the music and then like working out certain things, I'm. Yeah, I'm better with the overall structure of things mm. um, and the creativity part of it, I would say. Um, like, I'm a good coach as opposed to a good teacher, if that makes sense. Yes. Uh, so that's why you're the creative director yes, I saw on the website. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And so I often come up with um, the running orders. Um, the, uh, we both do the casting together. But, uh, yeah, running orders and, and where to put things uh and also, I, I usually do the scripts for people, um, and I like to do I do the lighting, like what I'd like for lighting, the sound, where I want people to stand, things like uh, I love that side, the directing. Yeah, the that's directing, me. the nitty, yeah, like nitty gritty where, stuff. Where <laughs> she's great with the right. Let's fix these harmonies, like the, the kind of that intricate side as well, and. Um, Yes, that's, that's good. You don't have to fight over it then. Oh, no, if no. You like, it's great. Or both are good at like the one thing, then it's like, no, that's not how it should be. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I agree. This way. <laughs> I agree. And, and we, you know, we bounce really well off each other. I will say, look, I mean, sometimes when we, we do these shows together and, you know, we're together for a long time and we're, you know, if we ever share a room or something, we're probably by the end we're like, me, 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 but we love each other so much. Yeah. It's like, it wouldn't be normal if we didn't have the odd little me, 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 me. That is family though. <laughs> I, I don't have any siblings, but I'm sure that is exactly right, what it's you. like. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please do. <Can> you sing? <laughs> yeah. I can. can. Not, not opera, though. Damn. There no, no, no. Definitely not It could be opera. a place for you in our show. Just saying. <sighs> okay. On the jazz, audition. Music theatre. I've never tried to sing jazz, but... Never know. Maybe musical it's theater, an unknown yes. talent for you. See? Oh, oh. Well. Oh, <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> I haven't even got to the deep part of this sorry, interview yet. Sorry, sorry. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe, maybe in the future. She we'll did see. ask me if anything was off limits, and I said no. No. Am no. I scared yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you don't have to be worried. It's all good. Now, speaking of you and Eva as well, you were on Channel 7's show V100. Oh yeah. All together now. That's fun. How was that experience? You were. Oh, it was incredible. That's abs- a abs- lot absolutely of incredible. Judges. Oh my it's goodness. a lot of judges. Yeah, it's a lot of singers in one room. I just. Uh, I got to add you now to the long <laughs> list of people that I knew on yeah, as I the one hundred. I was like, yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, it was great um, because there were a few a few other opera singers that I knew on there as well. I think in total there were four, including me, opera singers. And I have to say, it made me really proud that Aww. you know opera represent. Repre- on yeah, there. representing it. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, and then there were like a lot of, you know, a lot of pop singers. My sister was representing, you know, as a jazz singer. There were a few other jazz singers, some folk singers, some Spanish singers. It was great. Everybody. The energy. Yeah. And, you know, we've actually got a little um, private uh, 100 music, uh, yeah, like a music page on, on Facebook. That, that is so yeah, cute. That <laughs> other people can't see, but we always keep in contact with each other and, Aww. you know, post. So you definitely met and, some amazing people oh, too. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Honestly. Uh, it was amazing. Oh, good. And being on the other side was great too. Not, you know what I mean? Like where yeah. you get to appreciate somebody coming out and giving their talent was lovely. And, you know, pressing the buzzer was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> no. that, the buzzer pressing is a good thing. That means yes, you yes. like them. Not, not bad things. So. <laughs> get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, but I found myself dancing along and my sister and I had a really great time. Well, the few people I have chatted to about it, like they just said it was such like a family vibe, which was really yes. surprising for a hundred of you. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it was, was really really high up as well oh, we my were goodness. on the very top level so you wouldn't want to oh. be scared of heights or anything you know, so i'm so. glad you weren't yes. <laughs> yep yep oh my goodness <laughs> it's a good view though it's a great view <laughs> and i had to like do a bit of a facebook stalk to find that out so oh, i'm surprised you? it's not on your biography uh, on your website do you, you know what change i that. haven't i haven't added it to my bio no it's on my page i should do you that. need to yes no me Thank and technology you. oh <laughs> I'll help you out. I'm very help. good at that, as you've probably seen our website. <laughs> Fabulous. I do all that. Do it all. <laughs> now, I think we can both agree that there are many challenges in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Whether you're a singer or an interviewer like me, there's a lot of challenges that we both face. One of them being, mainly for you really, because I don't really have to worry about this, but not many people kind of think that when they go to a show, like, you know, when you supported Mark Vincent, Mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, any of those days, whether it's a night or, you know, day show for Sundays, 
that you're giving up your weekend while everyone's there enjoying the show. <laughs> Is it enjoying? Just the enjoying show? the show. Hopefully enjoying the show. Yeah, I made, I made, I made it look like they're just sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Some people do sleep. <laughs> I've seen it. Which is surprising for opera. I'd be like, I know. I'm seeing so many high notes. I'm like, how can you sleep? And I'm deafening you. Yes. But yes. <laughs> you're tired from a long day. It's been a long day. Yep. How, how is that for you? Like, has that been something you've had to get used to? Or you're just oh. so blessed that you get to do this so you don't even really care? I've, like, yeah, look, I've done, I think because I've done it all my life. I um, And I, look, I've done it. I've done a variety of jobs. So I think if you compare it to, say, working in retail on the weekend, that's when I feel like I'm giving up my weekend. Oh, yeah. But when I do a gig, I'm like, yes, a gig. That's, I love it. I'm like, woohoo. And so, yeah, I mean, get to well, give people joy. Yeah, <laughs> and look, it's great uh, when, you know, my parents can come, they can, um, which is great. Um, any family members as well. So that definitely. I don't know, there's something about walking out there when you know either your parents or your families in the audience. It's like, it's proud and like really good. And yeah, and then you catch up. <laughs> no matter what, I got yeah. a, a number one supporter oh, I know, in the yeah. crowd. I know someone will be cheering for me. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love it. I love it. Definitely. Oh, that's it's good. A blessing. Oh, yay. Yeah. And I have spoken to many female vocalists about this. And oh, it's yeah. always very interesting to you know hear what you have to say and I guess hear your stories behind this as well about being a woman in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like you have to work even harder just to be like, hey, I'm more than just a pretty face. Like Absolutely. I actually got amazing talent. I'm a strong, independent woman. Oh, yeah, Let me just yeah. prove to you what I can do. Oh, uh, 110%. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think that's, well, uh, obviously with, um, you know, different um, jobs like yours as well. Mm. With us, uh, I'm not sure if someone's told you this, but for example, so I'm a soprano. There's many, 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 many sopranos around the world, you know, as well as Australia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's less mezzo, so a mezzo is a, is a lower, a lower voice. Um, and then, of course, then with the males, there's not many tenors, and there's a lot of baritones. So you'd probably say the baritones, which is like a, you know, a warm, you know, mid, mid-range kind of voice, would mm -hmm. would be on par with the sopranos. There's more baritones and sopranos in the world and yeah, I guess in Australia and That's then why the bass is rare. Is so he, oh unique. he's he's wonderful, he's a tenor, but he's yeah. he's excellent. I mean he's so there. talented. Yeah, so I guess for a woman that's a, a soprano it's, it is that much harder for all of us. So, A, you got to work harder because there's so many of us, that, you know. Uh, as they say, I, I remember someone saying, sopranos are a dime a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> so, A, you've got to be really, really good at your job. Mm. Um, and if you're not, then, you know, there's just so much competition. But, yes, uh, I think as well, I, I think as women, you want to support each other. And I think that um, the more we support each other, then the more work we create for each other. So, oh, I yes, I do, line. yeah. It's but I do beautiful. think it is harder in general for women. And, and that would be, sorry, I just rambled. But no, no, to summarize, it's a good I answer. Because there's, in our industry, there's more women than men just in general, mm. in, in, in opera, um, you know. So, yeah, especially in <clears> opera. <throat> We can, yeah, because there's less of us. I mean, sorry, because there's more of us. You know, it's so much more competitive, and yeah. But look, you know, when when there's a sisterhood, it's a powerful thing. It's a really good thing. I'm glad so. to hear that about the uh, opera industry, anyway. Oh yeah, you meet some great people. Yeah, no, really good great people supporting the women. Right. Right. <laughs> And just recently you were in Canberra and you have performed also in Japan yeah, do you do your and China. I really did stalk you. I got it. That's, that's how I create these beautiful questions yeah, that are very tailored to you. <laughs> and you have been on cruises like we mentioned yes. before. Yeah. How do you find juggling it all? Because it just, it seems like you need like more than one of you just so you can be like <laughs> everywhere. Oh, uh, look, it, it, sometimes it's hard, harder than others. So. Uh, sometimes you find yourself living out of a suitcase and that can be challenging at times but it's a really weird thing because when you stop and have time to yourself and your family you start getting what I call the itch like you've got to go away again go out again. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I think the, the, the most challenging thing has been missing uh, birthday parties and family functions uh, being an Italian person I, you, you got know, a big family <laughs> yeah and, I, and I'm very big on like family gatherings because yes. my family is my everything but yeah look it's, it has been challenging um, um, obviously, you know, I have a beautiful fiance, uh, but he also travels for work as well. Um, so I think, yeah, just just making sure I keep in contact with everybody. Um, but yeah, the, it is challenging, but it's really exciting at the same time. You get to see so yeah. many amazing places and do what you love and reach different audiences around the world, which is amazing. So even when uh, like Mark Vincent had to unfortunately
unfortunately uh, cancel a couple of his shows oh, yeah. and reschedule them. Yeah. Was that hard? Because I was like, okay, how can I fit this in? Or were you already Do you available? Know that was my birthday weekend, actually. So uh, <gasps> why didn't you tell me? I'm so sorry. Happy no, birthday. No. no, no, that's okay. <laughs> Won't tell you how old I am, but that's okay. <laughs> she looks 21. Yes, yeah, I'm 25. So close. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yes. it, around the same age. <laughs> exactly. No, that was my, it. Was my birthday weekend, and it's funny. Um, I had committed to I was going to work the whole weekend, so I was doing the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and oh my goodness! So yeah, my dad had uh, organised to do a, a family dinner on the, the Sunday, uh, and yeah, I don't know. I would have, I would have, I guess I would have seen them in the day, but yeah, I was committed to working, and then so when it got cancelled, while I was disappointed, I totally empathised because that happens, and then I suddenly went. Oh, I actually so <laughs> celebrate my birthday now. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and so my beautiful fiance Ben took me out to dinner and you know my mum and my stepdad took me out to dinner the next night and then we then we had this whole family celebration on the Sunday night. It was great. I was very spoiled. <laughs> But for the rescheduled shows, you're still free, which is great. Oh, oh yeah. Well, or did you have they to reschedule did clash. Yeah, look, they did clash with a couple of proms shows, um, but that was okay. It was it was fine. Uh, someone Worked filled into it. me there, yeah, yeah um, because I love Otherwise I love singing with met. Mark. No, I know, I know. <laughs> and singing with Mark is uh, one of my favourite shows to do. So yeah, I was like. That Always comes got to first. work around it. <laughs> yeah, of course. He's wonderful. So. And I was glad he was feeling better. So, Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Like, uh, that's something oh. I said to him uh, when for the vlog. I was just yeah. like, and it was in the video if you guys want to check it out, that I was like, the unfortunate thing about this is unlike musical yeah. theatre and stuff, you don't have an understanding. There's only one of him. There's only yeah. one of him. And he's so good. he's sick, good. he can't do it. He's so good at what he does. And he is someone who is so humble and like what you see on stage is what you get off stage. Like he's really lovely oh, so and nice. sharing and kind. Like it's such a pleasure. He honestly. treats everyone like a friend. Yes, he, really he does. does. He I does. love it. He does. And it's genuine. It's genuine. So yeah. yeah. And as you mentioned, you are engaged. Be- yeah. Beautiful ring, guys. Sorry, Look my hands that. are so cold. But no, no. <laughs> mine are always cold. So. <laughs> But how has it been actually planning for the wedding? Have you had uh, even any time for that? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> we actually went have to our venue. A, yeah, yeah we <laughs> booked a date already. <laughs> we went to our venue last night. It's just so funny you said that. Yes, we booked a date. So December 14. <gasps> it's um, coming up. It's coming up. And um, yeah, I just love um, my mum and my fiance. We all just get along so well. And oh, he's good. been. He gets along with the family. Yeah. That's important. No, he's been wonderful. We actually, I was, I, it was so gorgeous. Last night we were at the venue and we were talking talking about and something as boring as centerpieces but I loved seeing him get in there and you know look at you know the combination of things but he's a lighting Aww. designer so he's very visual yeah and well that's a good color thing, orientated yeah. yeah and the artist in me just loves it I actually just sat back and watched. you've got a keeper there <laughs> yes I do <laughs> it keeps me sane that's <laughs> so, beautiful yeah, yeah and yeah. if you're both traveling all the time how do you find uh, you know Fitting actually in. yeah working and having relationship time I guess yeah oh look being able um, to go on dates and yeah it, it's it's kind of, it's worked out well actually that um we uh we've either been traveling at the same time sometimes uh, some occasionally on the same tour but um traveling at the same time so when you're in work mode and you're focused it's good because then the other one's not sitting at home just yeah, um, missing you <laughs> but yeah no i was saying this to someone the other day the good thing is the few times like i have been away and he's been at home it's also happened that way for me too he's been away on a tour and i've been at home and so there's an understanding and empathy mm. between us that this is what's going on at the moment and and i think it actually you know that that saying um distance makes the heart grow fonder yeah. i think it makes the time we do have more quality and the way we understand each other and don't try and take that away from each other is a beautiful thing. Um, so, yeah, you, you that. need that. It's a respect that that's your job and that's my job. And, yeah, he's just he's wonderful. Oh, he's, yeah. Well, I met, I met him, like, very, what, five <laughs> seconds? <laughs> and so do I still getting yeah. the uh, lovely new for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Neurofin. Yeah. Um, he seems, yeah, he seems lovely. <laughs> uh, we both saved the day for you. You did. No, thank you. No, it was like awesome. right before the show too, guys. Before the uh, people came in, I had in. a really bad headache. <laughs> I was and like, I, and, I yeah, will go do it. I couldn't get out because people were starting to come in, and Lauren's like, I can grab it for you. I was like, thank you. No one knows who I am. Yeah, yet, and then I had so. to show her a picture of him. And- <laughs> <laughs> this is what he looks like and this is the shirt he's wearing like the shirt specific you're wearing I was like 
Superman. Honey, as long as I know his face, yeah. I'm good. I can find him. Oh, his face was great. <laughs> I love that. Safe so, day. Congratulations, though. Oh, thank you. I have a be- I'm sure the dress, knowing you, is going to be <laughs> outstanding. I hope I so. can't wait to see photos. I really need to go on a wedding diet. I've just been eating everything lately, so. Do you, honey? Do oh. you? As long as make sure do the me. dress fit, fits. Do me, yes. Just, Let's make sure that dress fits. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just do you. Yeah. Now, even though you've already achieved so much in your career already, Clarissa, what else can we expect from you in the future? I did see oh. that in October and November you'll be touring oh, China <laughs> with Luke Kennedy from The Voice. Yes, I love Luke Kennedy. And beautiful yes. jazz artist Emma Pask. Emma Pask, two artists that I was dying to work with. And, and going um, to China with them. And it's going to China local. with them. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. I... Um, I remember watching The Voice years ago when Luke Kenny, Ken, I can't even talk today, when Luke Kennedy, Kennedy was <laughs> on and I was so, because he, he represents the crossover so beautifully. Mm. It was, yeah, it's so proud to watch an amazing artist up there and, and represent our genre, you know. So yeah, uh, I just thought he was divine and I, I just thought, gosh, I'd love to work with him one day, bucket list. I don't know if any of you guys do that. I was like, yeah, me I'd too. Love to, to sing with him you one day. You sent it out into the universe. I did. And it answered your prayers. I did. And Emma Pask is just a wonderful jazz singer as well. And, you know, my sister's a jazz singer. So, you know, I'm, I'm all for singing with jazz singers. I love, love her and have so much respect for her as an artist. So the opportunity came up. I jumped on it. <laughs> <laughs> so have you met yeah. them both already? You know, um, Luke probably won't remember me, remember me, but I did briefly meet him at, it was one of those carols. Um, like carols in the d- domain? Uh, one or? of those type of things. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, sorry, the Lord Mayor's Christmas carols in Brisbane. Uh, and I was singing with the Seven Sopranos, which is another group. I, that I'm you're involved. into. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about sisterhood. They're a great sisterhood. So I was uh, singing with them and he came on stage to do his bit and he was very polite and friendly hi girls how are you like but yeah so i, I was just so chuffed you're one of seven that he met i was one <laughs> <Sorry>. of seven <laughs> so, he'll yeah. know you now <laughs> he'll know me now <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So anything after that? Obviously the wedding in December oh, as well. But look, um, that's I'm not a public event for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there's a few more pending proms gigs, uh, okay. and I think I may have another one coming up with Mark in August. <gasps> um, yeah. So, but for next year, there's a few pending gigs, so I'm, okay. I can't say that yet. But yeah, there are a few we'll pending keep gigs. Keep an eye out. <laughs> But um, yes, hopefully it'll be a nice busy one. Yeah, yeah. But that's great. Yeah. And what advice would you give to the uh, people watching right now that might want to follow their dreams of becoming Aww. a singer? Look, my advice is uh, never give up. If it's something that you actually really want and you believe in your heart that that's what you should do, don't give up. Uh, there will be negative people out there. And I think you've just got to know in your heart that you're doing the right thing for you. I've always mm-hmm. just followed my gut as well. And if I got a bad feeling about something, I just didn't do it. Or I yeah. said no. <laughs> um, yes, and the other advice I would give is always say thank you to people who give you opportunities, uh, big or small. Oh, I love that. Uh, Nobody's ever said that no, before. No, no, uh, I find it really important. I think so Be appreciative. Yeah, be appreciative. You will find, I'm not sure at what stage of career you're at, but you'll find that you'll do really small gigs mm. that are tiny and maybe the budget's not very big. And then you'll get to do a really grand scale gig that's huge with a lot of artists and a lot of production that's involved, uh, which might be, you know, a, a bigger scale gig. So it doesn't matter whether it's a small gig or a big gig. Always say thank you to people who have done things for you, organised things for you, and be nice to everybody. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because nobody wants to work with somebody who's difficult and mm. ungrateful, uh, to be honest. Um, and I hear it all the time. So. I always try and um, be really positive. And even if you're having it, you know, I'm a big believer in what you put out there. Sometimes as a singer, Me too. you know, you, yeah, you could have done a few shows and you're feeling a bit tired and you might be feeling a bit whingy. Oh, my feet hurt or this and that. And I, I mean, I hear it around me and sometimes you, it's a thought. Sometimes you can't really control what your first thought is. Oh, my feet hurt or geez, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a stupid thing. Give me a burger. Oh, yeah. It's a bit tight, you know, um, or, you know, or whatever it is. But I always catch myself in that moment and go, God, I love my job. God, I'm lucky to be here. 
thank you so much you yeah know, god universe whatever you want to do and i think if you say that to yourself you even have an even better show and the yeah. audience feels that and yes always thank the people that gave you things gave you opportunities and yeah helped you along the way so even if you are having a bad day you gotta remember there's absolutely heaps of people that would like kill to be in your position i know and, and, and do what and, you do and relativity is an important thing like oh my feet hurt off you know like or you know all my some people can't tired. walk so well, that, <laughs> yeah. but that's no but that's actually a very good point i yeah. think a lot of us say flippant silly comments that um are not important don't, yeah, not don't important even matter all, worrying you know, about the teeniest being alive being healthy, you know, yeah. you know all those things but yes and say yeah just say thank you and be appreciative i think it goes that. a long way but yes please keep going i can't tell you how many times i've fought what i call fallen off the horse whether i missed out on a role i bombed in an audition um i'm a very shy person actually so unless you actually are that so is friendly so like surprising. this yeah no <laughs> I no i was like wow I'm okay very, we got along quickly, yeah, yeah, very well yeah. well because as a performer you know we go out on stage and we're like Put on a persona, but yeah. I'm actually a, a quite shy person. So unless you know me, I can be quite, you know, yeah. I'm honoured. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> but but you know, there's so many times that you know I missed out in a competition. I, yeah, as I said, didn't get the role, didn't get the work, bombed in an audition that I've been preparing for all year. And all I can say is keep going Just and get back on the horse get back on the horse be positive mm-hmm. let yourself cry you, you have to let yourself cry let it out yes dust yourself back on off and get back up i love <laughs> that like on and you know onwards and upwards Onward, yeah because if you really want it that's what you have to do yeah don't give up yeah, yeah. <laughs> love don't it. give up <laughs> <laughs> but yes that would be my little piece of a little bit of wisdom. Yes. And we are unfortunately getting to the end oh, of the sorry. interview. No, no, no. Talk so much. <laughs> so can I. <laughs> Two women just having a Imagine gas us in bag. ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Chat about the ten years has just passed. Yeah. We'll be here for days. <laughs> <laughs> but as a closing statement, yes. and was probably the most important question. Yeah. Knowing what you know now, yep. what would you tell your 14 year old self? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know, uh, I, I guess I would tell my 14 year old self uh, to have more confidence in mm. myself uh, and just know that the road ahead to my actual dream is going to be a really long one because at 14, I don't think you quite brace yourself for the journey. Uh, so just to be a little bit more prepared for it and to stand up for myself. So it's taken me years to stand up for myself. There's a lot of bullies out there. Like, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, a lot of bullies and people that, are, you know, will try and bring you down. And I think, I wish I had the the guts that I have now to stand up and say, no, you can't treat me like that. Or no, like, you know, you don't treat that person like that. Or, you know, like when you, you see it, you call it. So, yeah. and it's taken me years to get the confidence to do that. But, now I'm like, you know, an advocate for that. So, <laughs> yeah, so I guess I'd say more, have more faith in yourself, have more confidence and just know that the journey is going to be really long. <laughs> yeah, but it will be worth but it. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, I was the same at 14. I've yeah. never even thought about the whole, like, uh, the whole speaking up for myself, but even speaking yeah. up for other, for people, other people as well. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's actually easier, I find, speaking up for other people than yourself. Than yourself. And yeah. then you have to clock yourself and go, oh, hold on a minute, I should stand up for me too. <laughs> yeah. What about me? <laughs> that little voice inside yeah. of me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and before so. we go, yes. if if the people watching want to contact you or find out what you're up to in the future, where should they go? You've obviously got your website, yeah. thesopranoclarissasparta.com. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful, that one. It uh, is a little bit, <laughs> but people can find you. Well, to be honest, uh, the best way to probably see what I'm doing next is my Facebook page, yes. which is just Clarissa Sparta dash soprano And the reason that is, is because I keep that updated very quickly so if i'm doing a gig i'll post it on there or you can see yeah my updates mm. of things uh yeah, the website she's got updated oh, a little webs- bit <laughs> can i be honest I, I know i should but i actually don't even own a laptop so i have an ipad and i have a phone so i borrow my mum's computer because i'm not i don't want things i don't need and i'm not particularly tech savvy yes <laughs> but i'm just like so i'm like oh it's time to update my website so you know what i mean so um yeah i'd say the facebook page. i'll help you out yeah she can help me out but yeah <laughs> add a little bit about you know so, yeah. channel seven show <laughs> channel the 100 show yeah i will all together now <laughs> <laughs> and here's the link to the interview no yes yes <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming oh, on the show. You. It was an absolute me. pleasure. Thank you for inviting us. She makes it fun. Too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is why I was sitting on a couch, nice and comfortable. The big fucking casual. Yes. 
Oh, we didn't even put Louie in there. <laughs> we'll get the dog later. <laughs> get the next interview, we'll get the dog. <laughs> but you're welcome on any time. So let me know if you just want to have a big gas bag about something else. I think we could do that yeah, quite I, easily. <laughs> easily for like an hour, I swear. <laughs> so true. But you've got my contact, so come back yes. on. Yes. And for everyone watching, as we've just mentioned, we were talking about Clarissa's Facebook page. Go follow her. Check out our website, maybe after we've updated it, but <laughs> <laughs> it is still amazing. She's got all her beautiful videos and photos up there and her bio if you want to learn even a yes. little bit more. That <laughs> I think we've covered everything today. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for now, thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>